Reporting from the New York Times lifts the lid on Hunter Biden's run-in with the IRS. The president's son paid an over $1 million tax liability in the year after he initially disclosed an investigation into his, quote, tax affairs in late 2020. Despite the payment, though, a federal grand jury continues to collect evidence on the younger Biden's failure to pay taxes on time. And while paying back the liability does work in Biden's favor, it does not shield him from criminal charges. And that is according to tax experts um, for that the Times ended up speaking to. So yikes, he could end up. So that's like Al Capone stuff, right? Isn't that why he went Hunter, to Hunter needed a money guy. He had other guys. He needed a money guy. I think a lot he had a lot of money coming in. What, 50000 a month from Burisma? Yeah. That's the problem with getting those just straight $50,000 a month checks. You have to put, uh, what, you know, your 20% aside for oh, tax no, you man did, For that, that kind you, of money. I mean, you know better from you, all the 1099 work you've done, yeah. right? You'd have to set aside something that level, that much More money. More than 20%. Yeah, oh, 50%. 40%. Yeah, yeah, I would say you set aside 50% So what, for what are the chances that Hunter Biden on his benders, because we know that while he was doing his Burisma work, he was on some of these... Drugs, legendary right? benders yeah. winding up on uh, Skid Row, etc. Yeah. Uh, what are the chances he was putting 50% of that away? Well, he, he wasn't. <laughs> Not great. Right. He wasn't. <laughs> so and so he ended up with right. this tax debt, but he Which did he took pay a loan off. out, according to Vogel's reporting. He, he took a loan out to pay this, this tax bill. Which Just is, $1 million? Yeah. That's a loan? Yeah. Oh, yikes. Where's he going to get that money to pay off that debt now? In Romania. No, he's sanctioned. He can't. Uh, he's going to be. Oh, yeah, he can't. can't. Can't get it from Russia. I mean, he still has access to clients around the world. Uh, his art? His art. He's going to have to sell a few paintings. Sell his art. That's right. Sell more art. I saw on Twitter, and I assume they're referring to the same story, but I mean, it might be a different New York Times story. Michael Isakoff of uh, Yahoo News tweeted a screenshot of the Times story. Maybe, I think it's this story, and saying, oh, I didn't see in the category of didn't see this coming, the New York Times has confirmed the authenticity of the Hunter Biden emails derived from his laptop that were previously dismissed as Russian disinformation. Ah. The Times is finally confirming those? I, yeah, it's they, confirmed. I, I didn't know the Times had pretended that they didn't they were not know confirmed. those were confirmed. <laughs> right. Right. But this I, story uh, confirmed I, I responded them. with a gif of the Pokemon slow poke. Right. So, okay, <laughs> fine. Okay. Thank you, New York Times. Uh, it's been clear for a very long time. It was clear from like yeah. day three. It, it was, <laughs> yes, it was clear even pr like prior to the election it was clear yeah because no it was clear because on you could they didn't refute it <laughs> they, a, they didn't refute it but you could you know and i spoke to some people uh who were on the other end of emails who were like yeah okay that's that is that is my email mm -hmm. um and you had you know Bobolinsky and others like saying like yeah i was I'm, I'm on these emails here's my end of the email these are not fabricated so yeah but that's interesting that the times is now yeah saying that so now we're allowed to believe it there you go and talk about it freely yeah. without being censored right, right. <laughs> that's the way it goes another conspiracy theory that's not a conspiracy theory yeah they went all out on that you know they they really did like new york post wasn't allowed to tweet yeah for a, a while wasn't it you literally like could it was the most egregious the example link. of tech censorship until what happened to us yeah. <laughs> That's right. Right. <laughs> right. That's right. That's and then, and then what happened to us is just really tough. I'm just it. kidding. I'm just, yeah. No, it was, a, it was a bad, bad call. Uh, I mean, it was so bad the platforms admitted it was a bad call, right? <laughs> they, right. Facebook and Twitter both said in, uh, in appearances before Congress that, yeah, they got that one wrong. That was a bad call. Uh, it was beyond a bad call because it ultimately, you know, that it is in a way, what are they, I mean, I hate to, I'm trying to not say the word, but election interference in a way, right? So it is. It's well, that's bit, why they, yeah, that's why they had you know, fallen on their sword yeah. over it. Because, you know, do we know how it would have influenced people's votes? Like, is there, is there somebody who switched their votes? We, we, we genuinely don't know because it didn't. Well, but my, my suspicion is the way Twitter and Facebook tweeted that story actually made it made yes, people there's... more likely to read it. Uh, it was totally a Streisand effect scenario. I, like I, it, right. I think so, that Because then there were the hundreds of, of articles about how the truth was being hidden from you. <laughs> right, exactly. right? And it, yes. like, they made it sound more, uh, 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 they made it sound even worse for Democrats right. because now the Democrats' allies in the media are actively working against you finding out about this. Right. Because what they had done so, in the past was just not covered at all. Right. Mm -hmm. And if they'd have done that, it would have gotten less coverage than if they had right. censored it. Right. It took on this, this oh, yeah. the, you know, the bombshell that is being hidden from you, the, the, you know, the, the one that totally changes everything. So. But the so, problem it, is, is that only conservatives really were paying attention to that. I, every liberal I spoke to said, no, that's fake news. That's not real. That's a conspiracy. That's Russian disinformation. But and I don't believe that. But if that. they hadn't, if they just, if they'd not done, if they'd not censored it, I don't see how that would have been different. I think just fewer people 
would have right. known about it or been outraged about it. Right, because the people who are going to be persuaded that it's not real because big tech and the media is censoring it were never voting for Trump anyway. Right. Those are like loyal Democratic partisans at that point. It's similar to how James Comey, right before the election, did a press conference saying, we looked through all the emails yep. and we found nothing new. And all of the, all of the analysis afterwards showed that that, a, that actually boosted Trump mm -hmm. because people were outraged, didn't believe it, it, it and it invigorated Trump supporters and the, the Clinton supporters were like, well, we, we didn't, A, we didn't care about this, B, we didn't believe there was anything going on anyway. So it didn't do anything on that, but it actually boosted. So I, I could see a similar effect on this. Yeah. Well, tomorrow on Rising, I'll be speaking with General James Jones about the latest on Ukraine. And Brianna Joy Gray is here to break down Senator Manchin's takedown of President Biden's top Fed nominee. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe so that you never miss a video. And if you're more of a podcast fan, then we're now available wherever you listen to podcasts. And this is it for me. I'm, We've I'm loved having you in the <laughs> studio, yes. Kim. You guys will be able to stretch out, though, get I'm your back space anytime. back. Yeah. Right. I won't. I will be on the the screen. Just, just yeah, but we'll still me. we'll still be talking with you at yes, the normal yeah. time. You're, Kim, still be It'll doing the radar. Go back to normal. I'm going yeah. back to LA, and I'll be you can I'll sleep be virtual. In. I'm, no, I I wake 6 up. Six a.m. or whatever. Yeah, yeah, it's the same time. For me to wake up here at six or wake up there at six, but so that's it. So that's that's why I'm not on the whole show when I'm in LA is because I'm not waking up at three. <laughs> that is, I, I have to put a limit on that. I, woman needs her sl beauty sleep, right? <laughs> so do I. So does Robbie. Yes, so does Robbie. Yeah, three a.m. is on. Stage. But this has been a lot. It's been fun being here with you guys and finally meeting you in person yeah yeah this has been great we so. hung out it was fun we we did a lot of had a little out. too much fun we've had a lot of fun <laughs> we've all had a lot of fun uh, but yeah this has been really great so hopefully i'll see you guys again here in person mm -hmm. at some point but i'm sure you guys are happy to get your your space back because I'm, I'm like command of the yeah i'm like you know kind of doing this and we finally worked out exactly where everyone should sit and it was it's worked. right it's yeah great. moved me around a little bit but a little bit. but then i ended up here I just, <laughs> but I'm going to miss being able to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. -bye.